Hi everyone. Welcome back to another week of learning. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I had a fun weekend at home with my family. Well, this week we're going to continue learning this way on the computer. So, are you guys ready to learn something new with us? Great. So, in the last few weeks, we've been learning about the Earth, about the Moon, the Sun, the continents, landforms, dinosaurs. Wow, we've learned a lot. Think about it. But now, we're going to learn something new. Are you guys ready to learn something new with us? Great. Well, I'm not going to tell you just yet what we're going to be learning. But let's review. Do you guys remember back in October and November when the weather went from hot to a little, little cold? Do you remember when we did the lessons about fall, the changes all around us? What happened in the fall time? That's right. Leaves were falling off the tree. Leaves were changing color. Instead of wearing shorts outside, we started wearing pants outside. Instead of wearing short sleeves, we started wearing long sleeves. Instead of wearing nose jackets, we started wearing jackets. And then after the fall, what started happening outside? Ooh, in December and January and February. It got cold outside. We started wearing hats. We started wearing scarves. We started wearing boots. We started wearing heavy jackets. Sometimes it even snowed. We, in every class, even put bears into a cave or den to hibernate. Because during this winter time, Bears like to sleep the whole winter. Well, now, look outside. What is happening outside? How does it feel outside? Is it still very cold? Or is it getting warmer? That's right, it's getting warmer. Remember in the winter time when the trees lost all its leaves? What were the trees doing? They went to sleep because they were cold and they had no leaves on them. But now, since it's getting warm, the tree roots are starting to drink the water and the water goes up the trunk of the tree and what is starting to grow on the tree? That's right, the green leaves are coming back. Why is it coming back? That's right, because it's spring. So guess how we start our lessons for the week with Miss Laurie? That's right, we start it with vocabulary words. So we ready to see our changes all around us in the springtime vocabulary words for this week? Okay, here they are. The first word I have for you is Spring, you see the picture? Flowers are growing, leaves are growing on trees. It's a nice spring day. Say spring with me. Excellent boys and girls, very good. Let's see our next word. You guys know this one. We've heard this word before, but let's review it. What is this? That's right, everyone say sun. In the springtime, it is sunny. But also in the springtime, it is cloudy. And this is a picture of a cloud. So if you look outside, you will see clouds. But what comes out of clouds in the springtime? when it's warm outside. That's right, boys and girls. Rain, everyone say rain. 
the rain comes out of clouds in the springtime. And what does the rain help us outside? What does it help? It helps things to grow like flowers. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. I promise. But before we get to that, we have one more word. Rainbow. Everyone see the beautiful rainbow? Rainbow. This week we're gonna talk about rainbows also. Okay, so let's go back to the rain. Remember we said a few minutes ago, a minute ago maybe, about the rain helping flowers grow. But not only to have flowers grow do we need rain, we need something else. Do you know what we need? Seeds. You see the seeds going into the soil? That was a vocabulary word from a few weeks ago. We need seeds. Everyone say seeds. We're gonna do some planting in a few weeks with seeds and you're gonna see seeds growing. But for now, just know, seeds. And what happens when the water gets to the seeds? They start to sprout. Everyone say sprout. Very good. Another vocabulary word is when they sprout, before they turn into anything, they begin to bud. So you see here, the flower is coming out. It is beginning to bud. And when the bud opens, we have blossoms. Everyone say blossoms. Oh, Ariel's here to join us. Ariel, say blossoms for the friends. Blossoms. Very good. Okay, what else happens? <gasps> Do you know what the Bye -bye. blossoms turn into? Bye-bye. Before we get there. But before Tea. we get, what is this? Flowers. We get flowers. So we're going to be talking about flowers. You guys want to do some projects with flowers in a few weeks? Yeah. Ariel wants to. And do you do know right what else we're going to be talking I about do too? Right now. We will. We'll do it soon. You know what else we're going to learn about in the springtime? Our next vocabulary word? Butterfly. Thank you, Ariel. We're going to learn about butterflies. Yeah. We're going to watch and see and learn how a butterfly becomes a butterfly. A butterfly catcher. Oh, Ariel just brought me a butterfly catcher. Will catch butterflies? So we could go outside and catch butterflies. We're also gonna learn about Hello. ladybugs. Yes. Say ladybugs with me. Fly outside. Ladybugs fly outside too. You guys wanna learn about how a ladybug becomes a ladybug? Great, we're gonna learn about that too. I get Oh, and here. one insect that loves to drink flowers and makes us honey to keep us healthy is a bee. So in the springtime, bees start to come out. We don't like bees. Bees could go away. But we like butterflies and we like ladybugs. So we're really going to be learning a lot about butterflies and ladybugs coming up. So boys and girls, these are your vocabulary words for the next few weeks. You're going to be seeing them coming up again and again in our lessons. So you guys ready to learn about the springtime and the changes around us? Yes. Great. We are going to have fun. Print up your pictures and write your words and send us the pictures and videos of you practicing your words in an email. Have fun, guys. Bye. Bye.